Welcome to IDJM. What are we doing today? I had promised a follow-up video on the uh, 5280 I cleaned up a, a video or two ago. Uh, this computer actually does function well. Uh, it has a few issues I eventually may address. I may just resell this on eBay. If anybody's interested, let me know and I'll, I'll set up an auction uh, for it. But the outside looks pretty good. There's a few mild scuffs. I just didn't quite get out, but I could clean those up later. I was, the main idea was just to see if this thing would run and how well it would clean up. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Um, I did replace this bezel piece uh, from my other laptop that's over here, the 5000 I've been working to restore. It has a small crack right here. Um, that's from obviously the original computer. And there's a couple other slight little issues with it, which you'll see in a moment. <clears throat> the main thing being, obviously, this does not have the hard drive. Finding the hard drive caddy, as I have mentioned in the past, is it's nearly impossible. Uh, I had to wait almost two months just to find this donor computer, which turns out works fine. I honestly didn't think it was going to work as well as it did. This does have, in the 5000 series, you want BIOS 7.20. This is very important because if you go to the next one up, which I believe is 7.30 or 37 or 35, anyways, it's 7.3 something. It takes forever for these computers to load from a post or, or from the BIOS, and you're just sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting. Obviously, what we're waiting on right now is the floppy disk. It's, it's the only thing that I have in here uh, to run programs, but I do have this as a self-booting uh, DOS disk that'll boot straight into a game. And we'll take a look at this real quick and, and see what, the, uh, see what uh, exactly it can do. Uh, not much because I'm running off a of floppy, but we'll run uh, this game and maybe one other one. Obviously, we're going to use the EGA for this game, which is Arkanoid and the keyboard. And then we're going to go ahead and I don't know if there's audio on this or not. Yeah, we'll just turn that off, but just in case it's copyrighted for some strange reason. So let's just uh, try to start this game. And uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Um, if I don't use a mouse on this, I really, really suck. It is just hard to use a, uh, the actual keys, but uh, doing okay, I guess. I mean, this game is still fun, even considering it's I don't know, already lost a life. Considering it's been out for a long time, it's, it's, it's held up well. It looks colorful. It's, it's fun to play. It's got all these nifty little... I guess pills or whatever that come down and, and let you have different things like catch and laser and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, e for expand. I guess the paddle just got bigger. Uh, very cool. But, oh, there's the laser. But Oh, see, I missed it. Ah, that was a tease. Okay, well, that was Arkanoid. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that disc out. And I actually did take uh, some floppies and just made a, a few different games. I'm just going to pop in one more just for this test. And we're going to go with Planet X3. Uh, David Murray over at 8-Bit uh, channel on YouTube. Be sure to check that out. Actually um, programmed and wrote this game. Uh, very cool game. If you get a chance to play it, I do recommend it. Uh, it is for purchase on his website, which is where I got it. I just got the digital download because I have so many floppy disks. I really don't know what to do with them all. And if you're in need of uh, some floppies, I, I do have quite a few of them. I mean, not a stockpile, but I do have probably an extra 50 or 60 to spare. So if you're looking for uh, some floppy disks, let me know. I can give you a good price on them uh, with shipping and everything. Most of them do work. I found the failure rate on most of the ones I've got in the last batch, which is about probably 200 of them. Uh, probably about a 20% failure rate. And I usually, what I do is put a little X on the back of the, the floppy disk just to let me know that it's got bad sectors or bad um, areas to the disk. Anyhow, where was I? I had to stop down for a minute to take care of something. Okay, so we're going to go with AdLib, which this sound card should be compatible. And there it is. And as you can see or not see in the camera, it's very hard. It is there is a damaged area in this screen right here. I could replace the screen. I really don't have the time nor the energy to do it at this point. Maybe later on, like I said, I may sell this one. I may, I may not, but I mean, it works perfect. And I mean, the speakers sound phenomenal for a, 
they could just be a little bit louder but they sound good for a for an older uh i guess this would be a 486 class machine maybe even a well i guess it's a pentium class actually what am i saying uh i'm thinking of the other one that's right next to it uh, which i believe is a 75 dx2 and i'll do more of a detailed explanation on that one which was a was the big project and how it's running in a later video but yeah as you can see this this 5280 is up and running and it's working good and that's it for now see you next time be sure to subscribe